So uh, hello, uh, my name is Edison. Um, I just have a small application here to you guys. And uh, have you ever wondered how you can uh, view your device on Google Maps? And uh, that is when you say the location, you can be able to visualize that on the Google Map itself. You can do this by using the Google API. And um, with me, I have this small project that I have done. Well, I won't say it have taken me um, maybe a um, smooth time to develop this. It has been rough trying to run out of things and uh, options but as you can see here I have two modules we have the GPS and also we have the GSM that is SIM 900 to be specific this tiny sign module and this is the module that I'm using to perform the HTTP request and uh, populate a Google sheet with the coordinates of uh, maybe uh, from a certain location so for maybe this for the purpose of this video I'm not going to give the correct coordinates I'll just add some dummy values um, that will give me another location very far away from where I am so I have this application um, maybe just to start with I have these uh, I have one timer that uh, keeps blinking the LED after every one second. So I also have the same 900 initialization. I have connected this to UAC3 and I have a GPS in it that I have connected to UAC1. And then I like to delete all the messages before the application begins. And then this function just to set the internet uh, connectivity of GSM SIM 900. So Using this, you can easily connect to the internet and do some HTTP request and also HTTP post. So then I have this small function called uh, mobile application. Um, in here, I'm just reading the coordinates and storing that the coordinates that is the latitude and the longitude in these two variables. Uh, these are global variables, and also then after you get the Correct coordinate, please send this to you. Perform my HTTP request, uh, which is attached to my uh, Google Sheet that I'll be populating. So, um, maybe for the HTTP request uh, using the GSM, um, you can see that I have a variable here, uh, a buffer that stores the string format and uh, I'm using printf to cast this string to the buffer when I get the latitude the longitude I have this uh, URL link this is the link to your google sheet and then whenever you said uh, maybe the way this send command function works is that uh, when you send a command you have to wait for the response which is okay if you enable HTTPS, uh, then you have to wait for the OK. If you do the request, you have to wait for this string called HTTP um, action. And uh, maybe you can check this in the same 900 data. It should be this. This is not complete, but I uh, should give you several other things uh, apart from this. Oh, I mean after this. So if you get HTTP action 200, the connection was successful. So then uh, we have the send command again. If you set the HTTP response, you have to, you, you can read the response uh, if it was successful or not. And you also after doing that, you terminate the connection. And then this function keeps terminating initialization initializing and uh, that's all so if you want to send a message you see this library you can just pass the phone number and the message and as you can see the second command you have to send things and uh, receive so uh, of importance is also this gps.c whereby whenever you initialize you get the u at so this one here should be you add one that 
if you want. So, yep. I should know you want. Yeah, that's it. So, then, uh, you see this function? This is an extended function in um, the Hal library. And uh, you just this function, what this function does is to receive any string in there uh, that you are using DMA until you get the idling. There's, an, there's no data coming in. So you receive all the data, then when it is idle, then you have to restart receiving again. And then there's this function that is called when you have received all the data so i have use at one and i have use at three use at one is where i have connected the gps use at three is where i've connected the gsm and um we can see have this buffer to store the what is received and then this is very important to disable the uh dma have that is i it have transmission so we don't want to get uh, the interrupt of uh, after if we have transmission so important so then you have the GPS so you can see that I have the flag if there is something to be received then uh, you set this one and then you see the string two you receive the data to this buffer then you have to check for the string. You can check the uh, N, it's called the NMEA string format of uh, the GPS. And you notice that the, the sentence that starts with the GPRMC gives you the coordinates of, uh, give you the coordinates. So, um, have some variables here, the local variables that will help me do the manipulation. So the str is used to search for this word in the GPS data. So you can see I've performed the mem copy, um, copying what is in a string to another string, to this string GPS data. So then from there, if it's active so if this status the status of uh, what is it done here is uh, it's a not v shows that uh, it's receiving the location or the coordinates so then from there um just had to add a few things here do the manipulation to convert degrees uh, to convert this latitude and longitude to uh, actual decrease and uh, has a lot of manipulation from minutes to degrees con uh, converting from seconds to degrees then it's just added to get the coordinates out of where I am so no worry why use this I don't know so then if the longitude and latitude is equals to zero then this would be rare if you get this then uh, we have to if it is equals to zero then you send you send gps error nothing was nothing was received and then uh, from there if something was received then we have this uh, I am using a watchdog timer that is used to reset the MCU whenever we don't receive data or whenever the G, uh, G the SIM 900 uh, causes an error, I don't know why should it do that, I don't know. but it's very important that the system should restart whenever it stays for too long without transmitting the data. So in the dot h I have a lot of things uh, that I have defined. You can see all these. Um, very important. 
and uh, yeah so these are the messages the the functions that I'm using this application so I'm going to build this code and debug and see where by whether we shall receive any G any coordinates from our GSM so where well, I have these two variables in the watch expression and you can see that we have these coordinates so what does when to read the coordinates I have these online Google sheet and you can see that seconds were the last edit was made seconds ago maybe we can wait for some few more seconds and see whether by we can have a new entry so whenever I'm recording this I'm inside the building that uh, the GSM takes some the GPS takes some time to receive the data but you can see that we have this entry at 21.09 the exact time here so when I click on this I can be able to say this point where is this point Fradon place this should be Nairobi yeah it is in Nairobi so then on top of that I have went ahead and uh, imported uh, this data so in from the from the data subsheet I have these uh, locations uh, sheet and I'm using an array formula to format the coordinates as you can see so anytime there is an entry in anytime there is an entry in the of the coordinates you see that data is populated here so it's something that happens automatically it keeps running and running at you forever so let's see whether by you can get another entry is taking longer than I expected exactly there it is so then I have this uh, script Google script that helps me to populate my Google sheet according to latitude longitude and link so this is something that you can use to and uh, in here you pass the ID the sheet name and also we have this do get method that takes the a parameter and uh, this E is a structure that contains the strings the data that we send so just a bit of recording then using this uh, string and uh, maybe I say addition in JavaScript or concatenating the string in JavaScript you guess uh, you using the Google API you can get this link this link to your Google map so then from there just uh, imported this data in the Luca studio so in the Luca studio I have created a report and I have several data sources so my data source is same 900 and I'm getting that data from you can see a pop-up location and then when I click on this I'm, I add this location in this field location and you can see the location the actual location of what I receive so the refresh time is 15 minutes I don't know why Google would do that if you want to have a real-time system this 
would take some time and that is why I have the function in this code that can set uh, the location upon request so you can request the coordinates and then the GSM will send you back this uh, message with the Google API when you click on it should take you to the uh, to show you the location so you can have as many devices as possible around the world and you can just be able to view them from this bubble map so it's not hard to add this let's come here to chat you can add the bubble map here and if it's uh maybe um if you're getting the temperature data you can create these time series charts and uh, you can see the trend so if you want to learn more about this uh, hit me up yeah and if my tracker can help you you can also reach out to me so thank you bye